guys welcome back to the channel today's video we are going to be installing a pair of street arrow side diffusers splitters whatever you want to call them um, it should be a really quick install I don't see any problems here besides maybe my passenger side just because it's slightly dented up but I'm gonna run down exactly what you need to do here very very straightforward very very simple uh, the tools you're gonna need are a drill obviously you need a 3 30 seconds drill bit or smaller. Um, it comes with the hardware, they're Phillips head screws and washers. So you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, you'll need a jack, a pair of jack stands cause my car is too low to the ground to drill the holes. So if your car is higher or lifted or something, you probably won't need to jack it up, but I do. Um, but other than that, oh, you need a tape measure. So other than that, you don't really need much. So I'll show you guys what I'm working with here and uh, we'll get these tossed on the car. They're gonna look absolutely sick. So Street Arrow absolutely killed it with this. As you can see, you know, designed and made by Street Arrow in California down here. Then we have their logo here, but look at what they put above it for me, guys. YouTube Dylan's Garage, channel names on there. Both sides are gonna have that. That's gonna be towards the rear of the vehicle. I think that's a pretty cool, nice little touch. I'm happy that they did that for me. But um, yeah, so these cutouts right here are for lift posts or jacks or whatever, just so you're not jacking up on the side skirt. These are aluminum, so they are very, very nice quality. I'm not sure how they're painted, but they're very, very nice guys. And they're not crazy expensive either. Now, when I go and do my front bumper, I probably will do the matching front splitter for this. And then they don't make a rear, so I'll probably go with the diffuser rear bumper from like a WRX. It'll all flow really nice. But these are gonna look absolutely awesome with the front lip that's already on the car uh right now the front lip kind of looks out of place because there's nothing down the side i don't even have factory side skirts so um, i'm going to start by jacking this car up and we're gonna have to take a couple measurements off of here we're gonna have to mark where we're gonna make our holes and then we'll get this put up on the car where i like it and we'll start drilling so you're going to want to me measure your side skirt so mine is 74 and a half inches so i'm going to fall in between 71 and 75 inches which they want the spacing on my screws every 8.5 inches so what i'm going to do is you know don't worry about scratching this thing because this is the bottom side so you're never going to see it every eight and a half inches i'm just going to put a little mark and i'm going to try to go as far back to this side as i possibly can uh, just so it's nice and tight up against the body uh, where the screws are at least and that's how we're going to do it so i'm going to measure eight and a half eight and a half eight and a half all the way down so i get to the other side mark all the holes i'm going to drill the side skirt first and then i'm going to position the side skirt where i want it on the car and i'll drill the holes into the car we'll put our screws and one side will be done that's really all that's necessary guys it's not much I got all my holes drilled i went a little bit different because i want one in the corner on each side and I also want one right after where the lift post arms would go so I kind of just spaced them out by eyeball I didn't really go off their measurements but I put one here one here there's 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 one here and then there's one at the ends so they give you 16 screws so it's going to be eight holes on each side skirt extremely easy to drill through this no complaints there it's aluminum guys it's very very soft I just hope the car is the same way but we're about to find out right now. I'm gonna position this thing up before I go ahead and drill it on for a final assembly. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like and then we'll get our bolts in and we'll do this side. Okay, right, so I have two screws in here just to hold it up while I drill the rest of the holes, but I think it looks pretty damn good. I'd say so, it matches the lip nice. You can see my channel and everything right there. Definitely looks pretty sick, definitely. Well, there you have it guys. One side is on. And surprisingly, this was the easy side. <laughs> the other side, I mean, it's no secret to you guys. This rocker has seen better days. 
I don't know what in the hell somebody hit with it or whatever the hell they did, but it's like dented here, all underneath. So that side's gonna be a little bit tricky to make it fit, but I'll, I'll get it on there. Not that concerned, but they look awesome, man. They look really, really good. Definitely add to the mud flaps, the front lip and everything. So I'm very happy with them. Very good quality from Street Arrow, highly recommend. Parts are very, very nice. Uh, even the screws, guys, like look at these nice washers that they give you for your bolts. Look at this. It says Street Arrow on it and everything. It's a sunk in washer so you don't see no screws. Very, very nice, guys. Highly recommend Street Arrow. Let's take a look and see how she came out. I figured I'd give you guys a quick update before I go ahead and close this video out. Um, the Subaru, the only things that we are going to be doing to this car is cosmetic. Now, all the mechanical stuff that I wanted done to it is done. Uh, minus the fact that I do eventually need to do the driver head gasket, but obviously I'm going to do both. Other than that, it's just cosmetic stuff. We're going to get a front bumper, a hood, rear bumper. And honestly, I think that's about it. We might do some headlights, taillights, a grill, but... Just minor stuff on the Subaru, very quick videos. Won't be anything long there. Side splitters turned out absolutely phenomenal. Um, even the passenger side doesn't look too bad. I mean, yeah, the rocker's dented up right there, but it does sit flush and everything. It does look good. So, you know, we do what we do. That's it. Um, I'm not gonna go and straighten that rocker. Shut the fuck up. I'm not gonna go and straighten the rocker for a side splitter. It's not gonna happen. Uh, content on the Jeep. If you guys have missed this video, go run it up. I'll put it in the end screen of this video. The Jeep is getting a GT35 turbo in the near future. I already started stacking up parts for it. I actually have the turbo in the house. So the Jeep content will be coming and coming in full. Uh, very very frequent content once we start getting parts for that as you can see the mustang again if you guys missed that video that was a couple weeks ago um definitely go run that video up also it took a lot of hard work to get this front end to align but as you can see it looks absolutely beautiful all the gaps are very very nice um the next video on the mustang will be the hood pins they are locking hood pins that sit flush with the hood i'll do a quick video on those and then the mustang is pretty much where it needs to be for now um it's got to go to my work get a wheel alignment done i need to get it registered and insured to do that i'm looking into qq plates for this because it's a race car and inspection uh not so much so qq plates for this take it over to my work wheel alignment i can enjoy this car a little bit before it gets too cold out um you know just drive it around town a little bit iron it out see what other issues i'm gonna run into down the line but hopefully it should be pretty good. So yeah, if you guys want to see more of the Mustang, subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to see more of the Jeep, I know a lot of you love the Jeep, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more of the Subaru, subscribe to the channel. Well, there you have it. That's going to conclude today's video. Uh, I really appreciate every single one of you. You guys are killing it. I'm well over 700 subscribers now. I actually have one video on the Jeep, which gives me an idea to do a future video on the Jeep. Uh, the one video I have on the Jeep has like 15,000 views absolutely awesome guys unfortunately 15,000 of you didn't subscribe to the channel so you guys should definitely consider subscribing to the channel but i'm gonna do a video sort of kind of like that on the jeep just to see if it pushes the videos out a little bit but yeah so that'll be coming up also but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video with the subaru i think it looks absolutely awesome with the side splitters definitely completes the front bumper look and everything uh it will look a little bit better when i do the front bumper and everything but you know what it is so if you guys enjoyed what you saw in today's video please drop a like up on this video drop a comment down below subscribe to the channel please 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 subscribe to the channel don't slack if you want to be notified when i post hit the bell and yep i'll catch you guys in the next video friday 12 p.m peace out